Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source, and this is officially rock bottom. I just got smacked this weekend. Opening weekend for playoff NFL killed me. I got absolutely rocked. I lost a fortune. Um, and then, yo, and I couldn't catch a break either, because remember NBA? We had four to five winning days last week. I got crushed on the NBA yesterday. I am officially on a cold streak right now. It always turns around, so let's, let's keep the faith, but... Uh, it sucks to be in the middle of this. So let's keep grinding, keep working, and we'll get out of it. In this video, we got an NBA game right here. We're talking Knicks, Timberwolves on a Tuesday night. Let's do it. Welcome to the Swiss. The Swiss. Swiss. Hey, get the Swiss. All right, we got Minnesota on the road here in Madison Square Garden. The line is opened up as Knicks plus a half point uh, or a minus Knicks as a minus 105 money line, depending on the sports book that you use. But as you can see by 4 a.m. this morning, that line had moved all the way up to Knicks plus two already. And you can see the sharps all over Minnesota early. And check it out, the line keeps on moving. Even more Minnesota money comes in. We're looking at 92% of the money on the T-Wolves now, and the line is all the way up to New York Knicks plus three. Sharps absolutely love the Timberwolves in this game, and it looks like the books do also. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet according to the analytics. The line for this game should be New York plus 4.94. So that's a solid two-point uh, two lean on the Minnesota Timberwolves there. All right, let's run through a quick breakdown of this one. Uh, we'll start with the Knicks, obviously, on a back-to-back. -back. They just played yesterday on Martin Luther King Day. Uh, but there's a couple things I want to say about that. Number one, this is not a traditional back-to-back. -back. The Knicks played a day game yesterday. So even though they did play yesterday, technically, the guys still had the night off. And number two, more importantly, rest has not been a factor in the NBA as far as covering spreads this year. Did you know that this year, this season in the NBA, the team with less rest has an above 500 record against the spread? And teams on back-to-backs are above 500 also. So rest has meant literally nothing as far as betting the NBA this year. I don't know if the numbers are skewed because all the COVID stuff. I don't know if the books are overcompensating for the rest, therefore giving the team with the rest disadvantage too many points. Or I have no idea. Uh, I can't explain it. All I can do is give you the numbers. Uh, rest has meant literally nothing. Now, how about these two teams matching up on the court? And honestly, you could say they're exact opposites. Minnesota runs one of the fastest basketball games in the NBA on the season. They're third as far as pace of play. Over the last five games, they're second. This team loves to run it. They love seeing 125, 130 possessions per team per game. Knicks, not so much. Actually, almost the exact opposite. Knicks run one of the slowest games in the league. I believe it's 29th on the season. And that should give us an advantage as far as placing live bets in this game. It'll be easy just with the eye test from watching this game. Which team has control? If you see these two teams running up and down the court, even if the Knicks are winning, that means Minnesota is playing the game that they want to play and vice versa. If it's a slow, a lot of half-court basketball, a lot of defensive, grinded-out basketball, that means the Knicks are playing the game they want to play. So even if the Timberwolves are winning that game, you know the Knicks may be in control in some way. Now, if you break down the recent games from these two teams analytically, Minnesota is like the clear-cut side to be on here. They have In their last five games, Timberwolves have a net rating of, a, I think it's 11.4, 11.2 uh, maybe, but whatever it is, it's number one in the NBA. So according to NBA Advanced Metrics, the Timberwolves over the past five games have been the best all around team in the NBA. And it's because the T-Wolves don't really have a glaring weakness right now. They're playing complete basketball um, on defense, which has always been Minnesota's weakness this whole season. On defense, the Knicks are eighth, Minnesota's 10th. So even on the Knicks strength, that's over the past 10 games. In the, over the past 10 games on the Knicks strength, Minnesota's still right there with them. Offensive efficiency over the past 10 games, completely different story. Minnesota's all the way up at ninth, Knicks all the way back in the 24 spot. In fact, you can make, a, or make an argument that RJ Barrett's the only New York Knick that's been showing up to play on the offensive side of the ball. The pick here is the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's hard to disagree with the books and the sharps here, but hold up. <laughs> There's one thing the Knicks have showed us this year is one, they will not cover the games that should be easy covers. And two, they have a habit of randomly showing up and covering these games they have, they have no business covering. I've been on the losing side of both of them multiple times this year. Every time I fade the Knicks, I lose. I think I'm 0-3 fading the Knicks, so I'm not fading them. Give me the New York Knicks. I'll take the Knicks plus three. Let's get a big win here in the garden. Final ticket will be posted on kylekerms.com. Uh, only two NBA games tonight, so it'll be a really light one for basketball or for NBA. 
college basketball, Toast cleaned up. I think he won uh, plus 4.34 units last night. Toast absolutely slaughtered it. Uh, so let's ride his hot streak. His picks will be on kylecrums.com as well, probably around 4.30 p.m. Eastern time, 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time at the latest. Also, if there's any crazy last minute changes, injury updates, money shift, line movement, anything like that, I'll definitely keep you posted on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check one of those three platforms before you place your bet. Coming off the ugliest weekend ever, my apologies to everyone who took those losses with me. I promise I lost a fortune myself. Um, it always comes back around. Trust me, it always comes back around. These things happen. Not quite that bad. Jesus. I faded the public six times and lost all six. Insane what just happened. The public went six and oh. Things are going to turn around. Let's have faith. Let's make some money and start the climb back up. I'll talk to you on Twitter.